So today we're gonna scan this part because it has some extremely high detail. All right guys, today I'm gonna to show you just how high detail you can scan with the new free scan combo from Shining 3D. Available today, ready to ship in stock at visionminer.com slash scanners. This is a metrology grade scanner. This will give details with an accuracy of 0.02 millimeters. Now the accuracy is always the same in the laser mode and the detail, the point distance, the resolution goes down to 0.05 millimeters. And this scanner scans faster and better than any of the other ones on the entire lineup. So if you're looking for super high detail stuff, this is gonna be your best bet. So we'll go right in here in the software, got everything plugged in, set up, ready to go. Make sure you have advanced mode set up because that will enable the 0.05 resolution. I'll go ahead and select laser mode, new project group, and I'm gonna do high detail laser free scan one. And we're gonna go all the way up to 0.05 millimeters. So today we're gonna to scan this part because it has some extremely high detail. You can see in here the casting stamps, the serial numbers, and this super, super fine detail. This is a valve cover to a Porsche of some kind. It's a ref semi-reflective, not a super reflective surface, but this should give us a really good idea of how much detail this scanner really picks up. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave it in normal mode. I'm gonna start with a single laser line, show you what that's like. Probably gonna go in between them just to give you a whole idea. We're already zoomed in, so that's good. That's the local enlarged view. I'm gonna turn on auto exposure, press the button on the back of it once. It's gonna do the auto exposure. And now you can see that single laser line. And then I'm gonna start from one edge to the next. Now this is one of the biggest things. When you're scanning in super high resolution, you have to spend more time gathering points. Per square inch, you're picking up something like a hundred fold as many points. So it takes a lot longer. As you can see here, if I was in low resolution, I'd go and the whole thing is done. But at this resolution, you really gotta just take a little extra time. That's one of the reasons I like having an automated turntable that just rotates and then you can get a little mount for this, put it on a tripod, you can set it up and just let it go. Come back in five minutes and you've got a ridiculously high detailed part. So you can see I'm going through here. This is gonna take a while. So I'm actually gonna pause and I'm gonna switch to the seven laser lines. Now at seven lines, you have to be a lot closer to the part. It's because the seven lines are designed to get extra high detail from each perspective. So I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna just hit it. And then we're just gonna be very patient. And we're just gonna gather a ton of data. Oh, I'm actually too far away. I'm super close to the part. This is way closer than you would be on most scanners. And then I can, you know, just sort of jostle the uh, Lazy Susan a little bit. But I'm gonna focus on getting this area with the serial number and those little stamps for this cast part. And I just wanna get all that detail in there. So I'm just gonna hold it in one spot and just sort of rotate. I'm actually gonna pause the screen recorder on this PC because it uses CPU. Here, let me show you. Here, you can see it's cranking the CPU. That's what most of this is using. It's not so much using the graphics card and the memory is not doing too bad. It is definitely, we already got 8 million points and it's using 25 gigs. I'm gonna pause the recording. One thing that might actually speed this up a little bit. I'm gonna dive right into the hard case that comes with the free scan. And I'm gonna pull out some of the small markers. Now, it comes with two different sizes of markers. It comes with the standard, big markers like you see on the HX and H series. And it comes with the smaller size markers, which are three mil. So six mil and three mil. And you can see they're a lot smaller. Basically take up less space around what we're scanning. But I'm gonna throw a couple extras in here around the edges. Okay, so I got a couple more markers around the area that I'm focusing on because when I'm so close, it's having a hard time seeing three markers at all, at all times. So this should go a lot better having these other scanners in there or these other markers in there. It should just maintain tracking a lot better. So that's good enough for now. Let's see what we got. Frankly, we could do better. So I'm gonna go back and we're gonna keep adding to this scan. And I'm gonna use 36 lines to fill in more of that data.
And now I'm gonna spend a little more time on the seven lines, just to really focus in on that area. All right, so I deleted some data that I didn't want. I'm just gonna rotate this around and this detail is looking really good. This is looking really nice. So I'm just gonna go straight into meshing the model to create the STL or OBJ or whatever I want. Filter, you can go low, high, medium, none, whatever. If you're doing reverse engineering, you'll do none. No filling of holes, we'll just hit apply. It's gonna mesh this data, connect all the dots, and output our 3D model. Now, if you're going into a CAD program to reverse engineer tiny parts, you're gonna want something like Geomagic Essentials, or all the way up to Design X, and in between, Control X, Wrap, etc. We sell all that here at Vision Miner, even Geomagic for SolidWorks. And it's critical, unless you're in Rhino or ZBrush, to have something that can manage these giant point clouds. So let's check it out. Here we go. Here's the mesh. This is looking real nice. Very good. And as you can see, there's some holes and whatnot, which just indicates that we need to spend a little more time gathering points in those areas because it didn't have enough data to really fill in that surface as accurately as it knew it could. So we would go back a little bit. But for the most part, this is looking incredible. We can select all our parameters, hit confirm, then we can simplify or smooth or whatever. But really from here, you'll go out into Geomagic and start reverse engineering or save it as an STL. So we've got our high detail laser free scan 1.STL and I'm just gonna save. There you have it. You can do whatever you need to with that. And that's how you scan super high detail with the free scan. Again, these are in stock ready to ship today. This is all we do. We're here to support you and figure out what scanner is right for your application. If you want, you can send us a part and we'll get on a live video demo and scan it there right in front of you or we'll find something similar and scan that. But we wanna make sure that it's the right scanner. It's gonna do what you need it to do for your business before you even have to buy. So we're here to do that for you. Just one level of the support that we offer at Vision Miner. Other than that, let me know what you wanna know in the comments below. And thanks so much for watching. Have a positive rest of your day. We'll see you on the next video.